I like to watch TV. Sometimes a lot of TV. And sometimes I call it research. But I think now, especially with the pandemic going on, it's given me a lot of comfort. And I've thought a lot about how television relates to cinema. And I could talk about the use of the TV screen and acclaimed films like Sidney Lumet's Network, Cronenberg's Videodrome, or even Poltergeist. But because all art is redeemable, I chose to talk about the television parodies in the 1992 classic, Stay Tuned. For the uninitiated, YouTube user Andy Cooks Food sums it up well. John Ritter he does nothing but park himself in the recliner, watch TV, doing nothing. Jeffrey Jones basically works for the devil. He offers you this fancy new satellite dish. The, the satellite just sucks you into the TV. You get beamed into what they call the Hell Network. Thanks, Andy. This is where John Ritter meets Jean-Louis Baudry. He's a film critic and a theorist, and he and other theorists developed something called apparatus theory, which explores the relationship between technology and ideology. It's your lack of subtext. Film school graduate. In his view, the cinema is an apparatus purporting to show us the real world, but that's not 100% true. The technology of the cinema, the camera, the editing, the screen, limit the viewer's perception and force the creator to distill reality into an ideological statement and for the viewer to interpret it as such. This idea was refined in the late 70s by a bunch of philosophical film critics living in converted lofts. Liberté, citizen, vive la France! Power to les people! <laughs> by the 90s, the idea had reached Peter Hyams, who he'd made some good movies. He made Running Scared with Billy Crystal, Time Cop, The Relic, and then he closed out the 90s making End of Days, the movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger fights the devil. So he did a lot of things with the devil. That's kind of an interesting idea. So the take's a little bit different, but the core idea is there. The father, already drowning in television, can't see what's wrong with the new channels. Wednesdays at 9, three men and Rosemary's baby. The salesman said we get a lot of shows you can't get on regular TV. But his son, an amateur broadcaster, can see a similarity in how these shows present various topics. The ideological perspective is one-dimensional. I worship satin. <laughs> Excrement. And it falls flat on a narrative level. So God made a deal with the devil and he can take TV watchers souls, but if they survive 24 hours, they get to go free. Kind of a Geneva Convention and the war for souls. <laughs> also, everything just starts to have 666 written on it, but it's consistent. Hell TV is Hell TV, whether it's a game show, a cartoon, or a classic noir film. Look, I mean, some old movie must be on cable. This makes the point that any media, no matter how prestigious or lowbrow, is affected by the apparatus. The little boy watching his parents on television also gives dramatic tension while highlighting the characteristics of the screen apparatus. Mom? We see a remade and stylized experience beamed one way to the viewer's face. And that's what this movie is. It's in your face. The style of editing afforded by changing a TV channel is used to make non sequitur cultural reference jokes before shows like Family Guy and Robot Chicken repopularize them. Now, a Hollywood crank out comedy like this won't totally disavow TV, but there is a warning against watching too much. Take my advice, kiddo, don't watch too much TV, it can get you into trouble. Being physically trapped in a magic box symbolizes the way one's thinking can be limited by overexposure to media plot lines. But there's always hope that enough of the shock can bring one back to the real, inexact world. <laughs>